Hi Bob, this is a short um, video on how to make a custom transform orientation for an object that is not exactly on the XYZ coordinates for a pivot. So you can see I have a rough um, rudder here, or vertical stabilizer and rudder. And first thing we want to do is select the rudder. Go into edit mode. Make sure to select your front vertices because I want to change my root or the um, um, origin of my object. I want to set it differently. So I'm going to change, I'm going to set my um, global and my um, cursor point here. So I'm going to do a shift S, um, cursor to selected. Going to out of edit mode. I'm going to set origin to 3D cursor. So now I have my origin right on that area where I want the rudder to pivot. So the next thing I'm going to do is set up a, um, <clears throat> a parent or a basically an empty for a pivot point. So I'm going to do Shift A. I'll make a cube. I'm going to size it down. Also, going to turn on X ray. So, while you're in the object properties, go down to X ray. Oops, I didn't select all the vertices, so that I did wrong. Um, so, let's redo that. I forgot, I did not, I didn't, I had hide back plane on. So let's reselect those vertices. And we want to do Shift S again, cursor to select it. What did I do there? Well, that's weird. There we go. Cursor to selected. Set origin to 3D cursor. Let's move the new cube. Um, selection to cursor. That's better. Top view. Size in the X. Size in the Y. That's good. I want to size in the Z. Okay, I'm going to set the scale of that back to normal. Oops, control, alt, A. Scale. I'm now going to rotate it on the x-axis to line up on how I want it to pivot. That looks good. Okay, so that is the object right now that we're going to use for our um, parent for the rudder. I'm going to duplicate that now to make my transform orientation. So I'm going to do a Shift D and Enter. I'm going to move it to a different um, layer. So M. I'm going to select that layer and the original layer. So right now I have my um, orientation transform I'm going to be using. I'm going to name it um, Rudder. Transform. I'm going to select the other cube, which is I'm going to be using it for the pivot point. I call it rudder. Oops. Pivot. Okay, so I want to make sure I have the rudder selected. I'm going to select my rudder pivot by holding the shift key and hit. And I'm going to parent the rudder to that pivot point. So I'm going to do control P and set parent to object. Click on the rudder pivot again. And now is where you would be at right now. As you can see, the blue is our normal Z 
um, axis for global. So if I did a rotate on the z-axis, it would not give us what we want. So what we want to do, we want to click on the rudder transform that we made. I want to hit N to bring up our other toolbar. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see transform orientations. Crop that down. <clears throat> you'll see right now it's set up global. Well, if you look right here, this is how your transforms are going to be working, or what they're going to work on right now. Right now we have it set up to global. If you click on global, you'll see you have view, gimbal, normal, local, and global. We're going to add another transform orientation to this. And we're going to use do that by using an object already in the correct orientation that we want. So we're going to click on the plus. And you see over here we have a new window to open up, create orientation. I'm going to name it rudder transform. And I'm going to say use after creation. Now you'll see down here in our, trans our transformation orientation, it has changed for our new um, orientation we just made. So I can close that window now. Now I want to make sure that I choose my pivot point now, rudder pivot point. And I should tell you, the big thing on this is after you move, you rotate your cube for your orientation, make sure that you do not set your rotation back to a default after moving that because it has to have that information for the transform to work. So that's one um, area that people mess up on. Do not put it back to a default rotation. So now we will make sure we have the rudder pivot set up. And let's go ahead and set everything for an animation. And we'll go ahead and put a keyframe there for our zero frame, and it'll be a rotation. We'll go to a top-down view. Oh, I should do it this way so you can see what I'm talking about first. Okay, so if I do a rotate now, and I hit the Z only one time, that will put us in a global Z rotation. And you see that blue line is completely vertical. Now if I hit the Z one more time, it'll put us in our new transform rotation that we set up. Now you can see how the blue line is changed in the same direction as our rudder needs to rotate. And I'm going to put it into a 20 degrees. And I need to do minus and enter. Now if we go to a top-down view, you can see I put it so we'll be doing a left-hand turn. And that's how you have to set it up for um, the beginning of an animation for FSX. I'm going to hit I and save rotation. Then I'm going to go 50. I'm going to rotate. Remember, hit Z two times and a 20 to put my rudder back to default. I'm going to hit I and rotation. I'm going to move it to 100. I'm going to do row and rotate Z two times and 20 and I and rotation. Put it back to zero, our keyframe. Uh, let's leave it like this so you can see. And now if we hit play, you can see it is pivoting the way we want it to. That is how you set up a custom transform orientation. I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.